Howdy, homesteaders. This is day two at the Homesteaders of America conference. Okay, we're heading out, and it is early. I don't know if we should leave this light on. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, I can't see myself. <laughs> That's better. Oh well. We're heading out the door. It's early. It's like 6.30 in the morning. It's so dark out here. Uh, we're staying at a, uh, a bed and breakfast. <clears throat> there. I can't be seen anymore. What happened? There you go. Crazy, crazy dark. Uh, we're staying at a bed and breakfast uh, here on a mountainside. So that's kind of neat. Uh, we got back yesterday uh, from the conference, and uh, we were both pretty tired because we didn't get much sleep uh, the night before. Uh, you know, as you saw in the other video. We didn't leave till one o'clock. We didn't get uh, we didn't get here until after midnight. Uh, we woke up at five thirty, uh, got ourselves together, got to the conference, set everything up. We were tired. My wife working hard all day. She was definitely tired, so uh, we decided just to relax. Good morning. Uh, here we are uh, back at the fairgrounds, the Homesteaders of America conference, and. It's a little wet this morning, <clears throat> a little bit cold. Okay. You know, in uh, Kentucky right now, uh, yeah. it's been like in the me? 80s so and 90s, not, not and now here we are. Uh, I think yesterday it said it was supposed to high, it was supposed to be 60 degrees, you know, so it's a lot cooler here, <laughs> i got to tell you. But uh, the good thing about it being a little rainy, a little overcast, is it's great lighting for videos. <laughs> Got vendors uh, setting up again for today. Of course, we got our tent set up. Uh, our tent's actually pretty easy to set up, pretty quick and easy. All right. Really, what you got to do with your tents is you got to lower them down to the ground. Really low, like see how theirs is kind of low to the ground right there. And you do that overnight so the wind doesn't blow it away. There's a lot of wind around here. And then uh, when you're ready to go, all you got to do is uh, extend the legs up, and then uh, you're good to go. And it's good also to uh, have your tent staked to the ground, have some uh, tent pins uh, staking it to the ground, so that's important too. Everybody's just getting up and getting ready and getting started for another, uh, another good day at the conference.
you saw like two seconds of that in my prepping video, right? So that's it. And then make sure that fence is hot. So just be careful. I should have broke that birdie hen. Not like, y'all don't know what that means. I mean, that, that means gently putting her in a different area, giving her plenty of food and water, but it, it trains her not to be so broody and grumpy. And a broody hen means she wants to lay on some eggs, and she's got that mama instinct. Okay, and she's like this mama bear if somebody comes after these eggs. And so that goose must have came a little too close. And she chased him. And he uh, didn't make it. So that can happen. Yes? Got some, got a surprise for you, honey. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. What do you think? A bandana grandma apron. Woo! Thank you, dear. Read the read it, honey. <laughs> Substitutions. Ah. Ah. Read that bottle. Oh. I know. Guilt, my shame, God's love, people's forgiveness. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear. I don't want to get it all dirty. Yep. So you got an apron. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. I'll use it. So it's been a uh, pretty good conference, uh, a nice uh, two-day conference, a lot of things going on, uh, a lot of homesteaders here, it seemed like thousands of people walking around, uh, and uh, it's really just coming down to an end now, uh, so this is the end of the second day, and uh, one thing I just want to do real quick is just kind of do like a walkthrough, so you kind of get some kind of an idea of the type of conference that it really was. And if you didn't, weren't able to make it, uh, you know, sometimes it happens, that's okay. Uh, as far as I can tell, they're going to have this every year. And this is probably twice the size that it was last year. 
and it's probably going to continue to grow. Uh, so I just encourage you to uh, maybe next time or maybe the next homesteading uh, conference. Uh, just take some time to check it out. Uh, it's well worth it.
just a kind of a walkthrough to kind of give you an idea of uh, everything that was here. Um, now there's not as many people here at the moment as there were. Uh, like I said, this is getting to be close to the end of the second day. So a lot of people have already gone, already left. Uh, but it's just been a, a real amazing conference. Selfie mode. That's who owns the greatest farm in America. So just get planting. Thank you.